Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, June 10, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Joshua 2, reading from verse 1 to 5, and it says, And Joshua the son of Nun sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into an harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither to night of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house, for they be came to search out all the country. And the woman took the two men and hid them, and said thus, There came men unto me, but I wist not whence they were. And it came to pass about the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark, that the men went out, whither the men went I wot not, pursue after them quickly, for ye shall overtake them. Amen. We thank God this morning for his words. And what we can learn from this story this morning is that God is a God of mystery. Here, just before the children of Israel came to Jericho to destroy, Joshua sent men to spy out the city to see what he was up against. So when the men came into the city, of course, they take refuge at this harlot's house, or in our time we will call her a lady of the night or a, a prostitute and so she gave them refuge because she realized who they were and so the king hearing word that the men were there sent and called Rahab and told her that she should turn the men over and of course she lied and said that the men they left but she had them hiding on top of the roof I believe no God used this woman whom society may have condemned to protect the two men that came. And so what am I saying here? I am saying that you never judge a book by the cover because God can use anyone for his purpose. And once they align themselves with his will, he will surely take care of them. So yes, you and I may look at this woman and say, you know, she is a prostitute or she is this and she is that. But do you realize that of all the citizens of the city, she was the only one that survived all because of what she did for these two men. God showed her favor. And so we can learn from that experience that God is able to protect his own wherever they go even in the lion's mouth god can protect them now am i saying that you should go and put your hand in the lion's mouth to see if god will protect you certainly not the, the lion surely going to bite off your hand because god will not be tempted by anyone but what i'm saying is that especially when you go about god business and even if you are not going about his business but if you are in danger god will make a way out for you he can and if he desires or he have a purpose he will and so you and i can have confidence in god to know that we are safe with him and the truth is those who align themselves with god and i'm talking about those now who have not yet made a decision for god if they align themselves with the people of God it is easier for them to be influenced by God and the people of God now what do I mean remember the children of Israel coming out of Egypt were the children of Israel the only one or were the Egyptian come out to yes no they may have left Egypt for the wrong reason we don't know even when Jesus during his ministerial work not everyone around him really came for sincere reason they had their own agenda. But through mingling with Jesus, they were eventually changed and their purpose changed. And so God will use unfavorable situation to make a favorable outcome. And I know many of us 
would probably look at the situation and say, of all the houses in Jericho, that was the only house that they could find shelter because all we can see is the bad and never the good. And that is why I said, we must not judge others. That is not our prerogative. That is not our responsibility. Our responsibility is to trust God and to understand that God is able to use anyone to do his will and his purpose. And once, as I say, they align themselves with him, he will take care of the rest. So when we go out to minister, when we go out on the battlefield, let us treat all persons equally. Let us understand that these people are souls to be garnered in to the kingdom of God. And so there should be no partiality. We're on the battlefield and who knows? These very people, if something should happen, God may use these same people to shelter us. All right? And I admire Rahab resolve to protect these men. The only thing, the only thing that I had a problem with is the fact that she had to lie. But aside from that, she did a good thing. Now, I'm not saying that you and I must go and do something wrong to bring a positive result. You and I know better. And some of us are, are already of that concept that we can do something right to bring forth a positive thing. And I tell you, stop it. Stop that way of thinking. It's not going to work. And if it does work, you have still sin against God. So it doesn't matter the cost or the consequences. Always do what is right. Don't follow the world who is not yet walking with God. They may be able to get away with it for now, but you and I don't have that luxury. We are held at a higher standard because we know better. And so if you and I know better, then we need to do better. Amen? So my message for all of us this morning is that we should trust God. Trust is leading and know that if he send us, then he will provide and he will protect and he will take care of us. Amen. Amen.